You know, we've always known that Dave Schmicky, Handyman Dave as we call him, is a good sport. But this week we learned just how far Dave will go to bring you a great story. I, I can't wait to see this story. <laughs> I've heard about it here this morning. But from what I hear, it involves his beige carpet and a gallon of purple paint. Take a look. <laughs> You know, my friends and family for years have had plenty of reasons to question my sanity. Well, today I'm going to give them probably the best reason they've ever had to believe that I have truly slipped my cog. This is latex paint. It is called Kissing Cousins, in case you like the color. Today, I'm going to take this paint and I'm going to pour this entire gallon on my living room carpet. Think I'm kidding? Here goes. That, ladies and gentlemen, is real paint. This is my living room carpet. Today, we're going to talk about carpet cleaning. This is the guy that talked me into doing this thing. This is George with Checkmate Carpet. George, you know what's going to happen to you if you can't get that out of there? I'm scared what's going to happen to me, Dave. <laughs> you better get it out. <laughs> you know, I've been talking about this for a while. I can't think of any carpet cleaning company or anybody like yourself that was crazy enough to do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it was your idea. I know, I know. <laughs> this happens when people are painting. I mean, they do knock over paint. All the time, all the time. The only reason I was willing to go for this is because we get calls all the time. Uh, people are painting their house. Like, we've spent a gallon and we've gone out there and we've been able to to get it out every single time. This is what we call a code red. This is an emergency stain. This is life flight, and we're talking critical condition. Now, hot water extraction, that's a technical word, but that's by a truck mounted system that has at least a four cylinder pickup truck engine in the machine. Not a lawnmower machine, steam cleaning, and not a portable system. Um, we call those systems wetter is better. It is. Oh, you're going to live to see another day. Oh. <laughs> I was freaking, man. Yeah. I was freaking. We want to talk about common household stains and what you can do uh, yourself. You know, one of the common ones is red wine, but I drank all that already. <laughs> While the paint was you in. You had to prepare yourself for the paint job, yeah, right? I was just, <laughs> boom, you know? What am I thinking? But uh, this uh, is Coca-Cola. That's a... That's a common one, too. What do you do? Yeah. What can you do at home if somebody spills a cup? You know, what I recommend is you go get your shot back immediately when it's spilt. Okay. Turn it on. Now watch this. You're drawing it towards you. You want to get a good spot cleaner that's not going to leave a soapy residue behind. Mm -hmm. And we had this specially designed at a manufacturer that when it dries, it self-neutralizes itself and leaves no soap residue behind. If your viewers want to get this, they can log on to our website at CheckmateCarpetCleaning.com. Take a household spoon, ah. agitate it like that. Take your shop vac once more. That'll dry up and no stain. Yeah, no stain. <laughs> This is the black light. What are we going to use this for, dude? This black light is used by the FBI and CSI. You're familiar with that. It's your favorite show. Uh -huh. What we use the FBI UV light for is to determine how much pet damage somebody has in their carpet. Okay. So if we look here, we don't see any pet damage. But if we go right over here, Ooh. you can see where it lit up right there. So that's that's cat pee or something like that. Uh, whether it's cat or dog, um, I can't tell. But what the homeowner can do at home, mm -hmm. a good tip for them, if they think they have an area that's got a lot of pet damage in it, they can take just a glass, a clean glass, stick it on top of their carpet face down, leave it for five minutes, come back and pick it up and take a good whiff. And if it knocks them out, yeah. they have a really bad pet damage and they should have a professional come out and inspect it. And take care of it. Okay, cool. freaking out that I wasn't going to be able to get that out because yeah. the one thing is I got a big mouth yeah but it's important to back it up <laughs> yes, it is. well you did it it's uh, it looks great Kevin's getting the rest of the carpet here and uh, it's it already smells a lot better in here too I tell you yeah so, George you are the man you're the man thanks buddy all right thank you all right 
have to tell you, I think that's my favorite Dave yeah. Schmicky story of all time and so far. I don't have any specific information here, but I, I do believe that this, this is how this may have happened. Dave did this story while his wife was at work. And I'm thinking she may have never even known that it happened. And this morning, just to make sure that she never found out, I think maybe they went out to breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? That's no, no, no. I said, I said, I said, I have no well, information. He but did, if I were Dave, that's what I would do. <laughs> he did. He did. He did tell us that he did it without telling her. But whether she knows now, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, fortunately, they got the spots out. They did. Great story.